friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to see few more questions under the episode revision of 3 marks question friends this is the part 11 and previously we have uploaded 10 parts you can watch all these 10 parts going through the playlist so that you will get an idea that which type of questions are being asked as three marks questions and how to deal with such questions i also request you to download the pdf file from the description box in which the links of all revision types videos are given go through all these videos to understand and revise your complete syllabus let us move to the first question of today's episode friends here is the first question on the screen in the figure eb is perpendicular to ac eb this is the eb and which is perpendicular to ac and it is also given that bg is perpendicular to ae this is bg which is perpendicular to ae and also cf is perpendicular to ae cf is perpendicular to ae and we have to prove that triangle abg is similar to triangle dcb and also we have to prove that bc upon bd is equal to be upon ba now friends it is given that this bg is perpendicular to ae and also cf perpendicular to ae and we know that when the perpendiculars drawn on the same line are parallel to each other so here we know that bg is perpendicular to ae and also cf is perpendicular to ae this is given this is given and therefore therefore bg and cf both are perpendicular to ae therefore this two are parallel therefore bg is parallel to cf and now here we will take these two triangles because we have to prove that these two triangles are similar so abg and triangle dcb so in triangle in triangle abg abg and triangle dcb dcb in this two triangles we see that this angle g that is angle number 2 and angle 5 these are both are 90 degree so that are equal so angle 2 which is equal to angle 5 each angle is of 90 degrees now also friends here since we have seen that these two are the parallel lines this ac will be the transversal and therefore angle 6 and angle 4 that will be the corresponding angles and therefore that both will be equal so angle 6 is equal to angle 4 reason corresponding angles so these are the corresponding angles and therefore these two are equal and therefore triangle abg is similar to triangle dcb therefore triangle a g b sorry a b g it similar to triangle d c b so here we have proved by a a criteria or you may say a a rule now here again we can see that when this two triangles here the first part we have already proved and now we have to prove the second part that is bc upon bd is equal to be upon ba now here friends in this since these two triangles are similar we can say that the corresponding angles are equal and therefore the angle 1 that will be equal to angle 3 angle 1 is equal to angle 3 therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 3 now we will take another triangle another pair of triangle now here in triangle abe in this triangle abe and again dbc in this two triangles so here in triangle we can see that 
here in this triangle this angle is 90 degree correct and this angle is 90 degree so angle 6 and angle 5 are equal and as well as angle 1 is equal to this angle 3 we have proved here above correct angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and therefore these two triangles are similar so we will write up to that first so here in triangle in triangle ABE a b e and triangle triangle d b c d b c we have angle 1 is equal to angle 3 here this angle 1 is equal to angle 3 because proved above proved above and now here this angle and this angle so this angle is e b a or you can say a b e angle a b e which is equal to angle 5 so this angle 5 both are 90 degrees and therefore by a a criteria these two triangles are similar and therefore triangle a b e is similar to triangle D, B, C. These two triangles are similar. And since these two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding parts will also be equal. And therefore, therefore, B, C upon B, E, B, C upon B, E, that is equal to B, V upon B, A. Since these two triangles are similar the ratio of their corresponding sides will be equal and therefore friends here we have proved the second part also bc upon be is equal to bd upon ba now move to the next question <coughs> here is the next question on the screen a hemispherical bowl of internal diameter 36 cm contains liquid. This liquid is filled into 72 cylindrical bottles of diameter 6 cm. Find the height of each bottle if the 10% of liquid is wasted in this transfer. Now friends, there is a hemispherical bowl whose internal diameter is 36 cm it contains liquid and this liquid is transferred into the 72 cylindrical bottle and the diameter of that cylindrical bottle is 6 cm and we have to find the height of each bottle if the 10% of liquid is wasted due in the transfer of liquid from hemispherical bowl to the 72 cylindrical bottles. So here friends R1 is given as 36 by 2 36 by 2 that is equal to 18 centimeter and r2 that is the radius of the cylindrical bottle that is 6 centimeter by 2 6 by 2 which is equal to 3 centimeter and here let h2 be the h be the height of the cylindrical bottle height of cylindrical bottle now here we will first find the actual liquid transfer after the wastage of the liquid so it will be what volume of the hemispherical bowl minus 10 percent the volume of the hemispherical bowl because that much of the liquid is wasted so we will write volume of hemispherical bowl minus 10 percent of hemispherical bowl volume of hemispherical bowl and that will be equal to what and this much of liquid is transferred to the 72 cylindrical bottles so the volume of 72 cylindrical bottle will be 20 72 into volume of cylindrical bottle 
and so volume of hemisphere is given by 2 by 3 pi r cube so it will be r1 cube minus 10 percent that is 1 tenth 10 percent means 1 tenth into again volume of the hemispherical bowl that is 2 third of pi r1 cube this should be cube so which is equal to 72 into volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder is what pi r2 we are taking as the radius so r2 square h pi r square h now here friends if you take out pi as a common factor that pi will get cancelled with this pi then 2 ones are 2 2 fives are 10 correct and so if you solve this you will get it as so here r1 cube will be the common factor so r1 cube that is what 18 into 18 into 18 that will be the r1 cube that will be the common factor so inside the bracket it will be 2 by 3 2 by 3 minus 1 by 5 3 is a 15 so which is equal to 72 into r2 square r2 is what 3 and so 3 square will be 3 into 3 and we have to find h now solve this further so it will be 18 for the 72 correct then 3 ones are 3 3 6 the 18 again 3 ones are 3 3 6 the 18 so this will be 36 again this can be solved as 2 2 the 4 2 3 the 6 this is as 2 ones are 2 2 3 the 6 so 3 3 the 9 multiplied by here you will multiply by 15 will be the LCM, 15 will be the LCM, here you will multiply by 5, 5 to the 10, 10 minus 1 that will be 9, 9 by 15. And so which is equal to here it will be H. So if you solve this it will be 81 by 15 which is equal to H and therefore H will be equal to 5.4 centimeter. So friends here we have got the height of the cylindrical bottle as 5.4 centimeter. This is the very different type of question. So put a hashtag mark so that you will revise it again and again. Now move to the next question. The question is that the following table gives weekly wages in rupees of the workers of the workers in a certain commercial organization. The frequency of class 49 to 52 is missing and it is known uh, that the mean of the frequency distribution is 47.2 find the missing frequency. Now here the weekly wages are given 40 to 43, 43 to 46, 46 to 49 and so on and the number of workers are given as 31, 58, 60, this is F and this is 27. This is the missing frequency that F you have to calculate. So here this is the frequency. So if we take the sum of this frequency, that is summation of Fi, which is equal to 176 plus F. If you add all these four numbers, that will be 176 and this will be plus F. Now what we do, we find the Xi. Xi means what? The mid value of the class interval. So mid value of class interval 40 to 43, that will be 41.5. Then second mid value will be 44.5. As you know that there is a difference of 3, just go on adding 3 to the next uh, uh, Xi. So it will be 47.5. Then next will be 50.5 and the next will be 53.5 and after xi we find ui to find the ui we require the assume mean so first we will we find the assume mean we take the middle value of xi so the middle value of xi is 47.5 and so the assume mean that is equal to 47.5 and ui we write it as 0 here minus 1 
minus 2 and in the downward direction we write 1 2 why do we write like this that we have explained already in the previous episodes where we have completed our statistics lesson now we find the fi ui fi ui it means the frequency multiplied by the ui so 31 2 za, that will be minus 62 then 51 1 za, that is minus 58 that is 60 into 0 will be 0 f into 1 that will be f and 27 2 za, 54 now we take the summation of fi ui so summation of fi ui that is equal to 54 minus 50 58 that will be minus 4 and minus 4 and 62 that will be minus 66 and this will be plus f now friends here we have got summation of fi summation of fi ui and assume mean now we will find the mean mean that is equal to mean that is equal to assume mean plus summation of f i u i upon summation of f i into h now here mean is given to us and that mean is what it is 47.2 which is equal to assume mean is what 47.5 47.5 plus summation of f i u i that is minus minus 66 plus f upon summation of fi is what it is 176 plus f multiplied by h h is what the difference between the upper limit and the lower limit and the difference is here 3 now take 47.5 to this side so 47.2 minus 47.5 uh, that will be equal to g minus 0 0.3 which is equal to this will be minus 66 plus f upon 176 plus f multiplied by 3 and now this can be solved further as this minus 0.3 can be written as minus 3 by 10 multiplied by take 176 plus f to this side so it will be 176 plus f which is equal to minus 66 plus f into this 3 and so here friend this 3 and 3 will get cancelled take 10 to the other side so it will be minus 176 this is the minus sign outside the bracket so it will be minus 176 minus f which is equal to if you multiply this you will get minus 660 660 uh, plus 10 f now take f to this side so it will be 10 f plus f that will be 11 f take 660 to this side so this will be plus 660 so 660 minus 176 that will be 484 and so 11 ones are 11, 11 fours are 44, 11 fours are 44 and so f is equal to 44 and so friends here we have got the mixing frequency as 44. Now here we will stop and I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.